Capricorn to your beginning of June reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's get in here and see what is going on with you. Best message is coming out. Let's see what's going on right now. Best message is coming in. Best message is coming in. Ooh, talking about that firm foundation. Same as the Four of Coins, and making sure that you are taking control where control is needed at this time. So we do have the Solar uh, Plexus Chakra also coming out. So this is about intentions of where you really want to put your firm foundation. Where is your intentions, right? Intentions are that solar plexus. That's what I uh, want, will have, have, want, will. What can I do, right? What can I do to make things happen for me? We use that solar um, plexus for our intentions, right? For what it is we truly want in life, right? The want is the desire of the sacral chakra and the solar plexus is that I can. So it's like I can have this firm foundation. I, you know, I can put everything in there that is exactly where I want. This is going to bring in power and vitality and willpower, self-esteem and confidence when it comes to that firm foundation, right? So this is saying I can have these things and really knowing that this is where you're putting all your energy at this time of the month that is going to be a very big thing for you, uh, right? Because the firm foundation is about those financial matters that will assist in you laying a firm foundation and groundwork, right? Really keeping your feet on the ground and taking control of your security and will have a better chance of building in the future. If you set those intentions, you will have a better tomorrow. That's really what it's saying. And right now, we really need to look at what it is that I truly seek when it comes to this situation, right? Where is this determination coming from? This is what I'm really looking at. And you really want to do that. Am I holding too tight to something that I might need to let go of so that I can restructure myself? Okay, so let's look over here and see what's going on. Clarify on the firm foundation Standing your ground for what it is you truly want, knowing that this could be a challenge moment. Maybe you feel like you're kind of a disadvantage right now, and you feel like you are standing your ground for what it is you truly, truly want to have, and what you say, I can do this. You should stay focused on those energies, you guys, so that you can ask, you know, access all the gifts that are coming towards you, really opening up these doors. Okay, really laying down that groundwork, that frame. You know, when we start to build a house, we always lay down foundation. So it just feels like right now is a good time to start laying down foundation for what it is you're truly building. You know what it is you want, so let's go ahead and do it. Okay, but it does say there is. There is some, some blockages going on about this situation. That's where the challenge is coming from, that maybe you're not sure exactly where to start or exactly how we're going to get here. So it does feel like there is some kind of mental conflict when it comes to the situation. Right. So really wanting to get past those into clear statements about what's going on so that you can really focus on, like I said, those good energies. So it does feel like in the very beginning of the month that I am challenged with this blockage and I do feel defeated when it comes to these certain situations. Right. Wherever you're laying your foundations, whether it's finances, love, right, it could be, you know, many different areas. This is a general reading, right? So it's wherever you feel like, you know what, there is a blockage here. I am having a hard time maintaining control of what it is that I can do, but I have to remember I can and I will do this. I just have to refocus my attention. Energy goes, right, where, where focus goes.
And if you're focusing only on the hardships and the things that are going wrong within your life, that's not putting your energy to work, right? That's allowing that to say, oh, we're stuck. Well, we're going to stay stuck. Let's, let's focus on something different. Let's focus on the outcome. Let's not restrict ourselves from what it is we truly can have by keeping ourselves down, right? The devil says, no, this is limiting your belief system of what is possible. This is saying this is, can only be this way. And that is not, you know, we want to get rid of that energy, right? So definitely this is, uh, could also be a self-sabotage in a lot of ways. So you're going to start feeling you know what, let's go after this truth seeking. And I do feel like there's going to be this kind of turn around, a turn around of the way that you're kind of seeing things. It's going to be more favorable because you're going to start noticing things. Okay. Start noticing, you know, that this might be, you know, you might even have somebody who's doing sneaky behavior around you. Feel like somebody's hiding something from you. And you might want to feel like, you know what, I want to go out and seek the truth to the situation of why this conflict is here. Once I understand everything that's going on around me, then I can really start laying down the foundations to get out of the situation and start really managing things in a different way. Whoa. So... Go ahead and see what's going on. Clarify on the reasons here. Being competition and self care. Feeling like you are, you know, there could be a lot of clashing egos that's going on. This could be a petty mistake that you've made, and maybe you can't figure out how to pick your your foot up out of the mud to move forward. Right? You might feel like there's a lot of attachment over here when it comes to your situation. You might feel like there was some theft. You know what? They were thieving from me. How am I going to now, you know, reap my rewards? How am I going to fix this situation? There's a lot of fixing the situation. Right? If you know that there's a lot of unpaid debts and you're trying to figure out how, right, I'm going to manage getting out of this unpaid debts, how am I going to manage to do this, right? That and the other. You might want to start with, you know, these one of the bigger bills start working on them leave the other ones right if that's what you have and i do the snowball effect and it does say that once you figure out the situation you do have all this creativity that's going to start opening up for you um, this is going to be creative mind getting rid of those blockages starting to see things in a different light um, having this information coming towards you might get some information. Um, something is going to settle in your favor for sure uh, when it comes to the beginning of the month, whether it's coming from your, you know, from your higher self in some kind of aha moment, you know, or if it's coming actually from someone else. Um, but you definitely say, yes, this is where I'm going to start feeling like things are flowing in the right direction with the Ace of Cups. Because it's going to be new feelings, intuition opening, um, new proposals coming your way on how to do things. Okay. I love that. Renegotiate certain situations. Maybe you need to go in and if you have a mortgage problem, maybe you have to re renegotiate your mortgage or do a second mortgage so that you can get out of some debt or something, right? Something is definitely going to come around where it's going to say this is... This is how we're going to get out of this. If this is a love situation, you feel like somebody is being sneaky around you and you feel like they're causing maybe even a lot of loss because maybe they're spending money that they shouldn't be spending or something is going on over here. When it comes to your money, um, you definitely are going to come to some kind of mid, it's kind of like meeting in the middle situation over here where you're going to start proposing new ideas. Maybe you need to, uh, you know, uh, change bank accounts, <laughs> change your bank account pin, right? So they cannot get into it anymore. Something is going to happen, right? When it comes to that, right? Because you're saying maybe, you know, I'm letting, they're getting away with something. They're definitely getting away with something. 
if you're standing your, your ground against somebody who is being a bully towards you, you're definitely going to figure out something to do with that as well, because I do see that as well, that somebody could be being a kind of a bully to you. Um, okay. You're definitely going to figure out that you guys are going to have a tower. Many people are having tower, and the tower is really this sudden change and this sudden awareness and this sudden awakening to what is going on around you. Um, really feeling like, you know what, there is this release though as well, releasing myself from that mental conflict so I don't have to deal with this anymore, bringing myself back into union and connection with my higher self um, so that things can become more healthy in whichever area of your life you're having this struggle. Everybody's area is a little bit different. For some of you, it's definitely career. Um, and for others of you, it's either career, it's money-based, it's money-based or love-based, for sure. I'm talking about that home conflict, some of you might even be having, it's, and for some of you, it's something to do with a mortgage. Your mortgage went up, something like that. Or you're going to, if you don't take it out and refinance, you know, you're going to be, you might feel like you're going to be in more debt than than the normal. Um, so it could definitely do with something that says I'm going to have to bring my, I'm going to have to reevaluate this situation and take out a second mortgage. I see second mortgage in here for some of you. I don't know whose energy that is I'm picking up, but I'm definitely seeing that there's a lot of, money spent in the wrong places or we overspent money something came up maybe towards the house and now you know now we're gonna have to get a second mortgage because i have to get a new roof or something something is transpiring there with someone with the with the mortgage for sure that is uh huh, it almost feels very personal whoever's energy i'm picking up on that it just feels like the house is t tumbling down so maybe you are having some plumbing problems and some roofing problems you're gonna have to re-roof definitely whatever the situation is it says the overall outcome of the situation is going after your heart's desire and really knowing you know where to be reliable there's going to be a lot of providing new financial security for you um, really finding practical ways to how you're going to deal with debt, how you're going to deal with the situation, and really rebuilding um, your strong foundation when it comes to the situation. If this is a love situation, it's about offering your, your heart and nurturing in this situation so that we can get past this roller coaster that we are going through, so that we can secure this relationship before it just continues to keep falling down, right? Um, yeah. Somebody has to be a little more reliable. And if you know that somebody is being sneaky, it's almost like I'm going to open up my mouth and let them know that, you know what, there's going to be no more of this behavior. I'm not going to stand still anymore and watch you do this and be sneaky around me. We are going to have this conversation. Um, it's going to be a bad one, though, in a lot of ways, because it's going to cause an upheaval within the homestead, within the relationship. Um, for some of you who are going through that, um, and definitely feeling like we're either going to support each other or, you know, we're going to have to sacrifice something. No matter what, when we have the hangman, it's saying we're, gonna, we're going to sacrifice. But it does feel like for some of you, there could be a, a fear of this sacrifice. And this is why you're trying to take control in different areas. And that's why the devil is here, because it's saying you're still adding restrictions. You're still allowing this to happen, even though you feel like you're trying to move out of this scenario into a different direction. It's not really moving in a different direction. It's just building karma. Um, it's not really doing anything because it's out of control. There has to be more control to this situation. Whatever the situation is, it says this has to be dealt with the right way, right? Because there is resistance, right? It's saying there was resistance. There is resistance now to really get down to the roots of the problem. Um, and Spirit says this is where, you know, the overall outcome says get in there, you know, get your heart open, and let's really start having this conversation even if it's a conversation you need to have with yourself about what's going on so that you can open up your mind and say you know what let's get down to this and we'll write down the pros and cons of the situation and see what's going on right 
to figure out how we're going to balance this out so I can balance out my checkbook, balance out my bills, balance out this relationship. Sometimes we have to start with ourselves before we can rush in and start talking, right? Because sometimes we want to know what we're going to say even to another person, uh, let alone ourselves, right? Um, so this is definitely talking about working on this situation, but also make sure that you are being very nurturing with yourself. Do not play a victim to the situation. For a lot of you, this is just the test of time, you know, and yes, I understand that you have a lot of financial loss, right? And it says there could be a lot of loneliness and not a lot of neediness, a lot of low self-esteem going on with you or them, depending on who we're talking about and maybe both isolating yourself, or, you know, away from each other. Um, but it's also the lack of mindset and the lack of mindset is because, right, because I'm not allowing, I'm standing my, I'm standing my ground, you see it here, I'm on my last stand, but if we're not having open communication with ourselves or with someone else about the situation, it's causing this imbalance and worry, we need to get past that and get past those blockages so that way you can become the king of wands over here, and it says in the outcome, if you do the things you know you're supposed to be doing, you can become this king of wands. You will find that leadership within yourself, build yourself back to that leadership place, opening up doors for yourself because you've overcome the challenges, and you can focus now exactly where you need to focus on without any worry. Lay the worry aside, right, so that you can come to better understanding. If we're worried, we really can't we really can't think. Emotions are high, intelligence is low, right? So we want to, re we actually need them balanced more than anything because you don't want your intelligence too high because then you're emotionless, right? So you really need to find the balance between the two and that's where the two of cups comes in. Saying I need to have the overall balance of communication and really attract what it is and connect so that I can focus on what it is I truly need to focus with. And that's why I think writing down pros and cons for situations is always a good thing, right? I do it a lot. Why? Because then it can show me where it's going, how it can, might have the benefits. Is it beneficial? If it has less, <laughs> less pros than cons, and the con, you know, then it's like, oh, rework it, right? Because that's not, that's not going to work. But you really need to balance, and it's saying balancing your emotions, Right, two of cups, you can balance those emotions with your intelligence, and that way you can see clearly without any worry, right? And that really will pump you up and say, oh, I see the bigger picture now. The king of wands says, I can see the bigger picture. I overcome the challenges. I'm very balanced, and I'm very stable, right? And I have the fire within me to be able to ride out the storm, right? Instead of being burned, he just rides right through it, right? There's no more being burned. I ride with the fire. That means you have control instead of just being burned by everything, okay? And this will bring in, whether it's money or love, it's saying it's going to bring in exactly what it is you're truly looking for, Ten of Pentacles with the, with the lovers. It could be the career of love, but getting back to what your passional roots are, and really bringing in what it is you truly want to attain, right? And having that overall success, right? But yes, there will be some choices on what it is you need to do. And if it's a love situation, this is where you guys come together. You break those chains away from each other so that you become free, right? Free to speak your mind, free to love, not feeling like you're in any kind of resistance or resilience, or tag, you know, playing tag team over here, tag your it. It's your turn, you know, if it's your turn to yell and scream, no, it's your turn, <clears throat> right? But however it is, I mean, it's the same exact people. The only difference is they're going to get rid of the chains, right? And free themselves from this situation and get back to where they feel like they are in control of the emotions instead of, you know, codependent on whatever or however the situation is. Everybody's story is a little different, but you're definitely going to be able to feel like you're at a, par a partnership instead of at each other, right? Okay, and an overall card from Spirit is beautiful reading, my friends. Reconsider situations. 
absolutely want to reconsider. So let's read this card real fast, and that will be the end of your reading. Let's see what's going on. This says there's an element of your plan that should be reevaluated. We already spoke about that. Take some time to really go through your project or proposal thoroughly. Share your intentions with, wow, intentions, really, really? <laughs> Can't make that stuff up, I tell you, with a trusted friend or advisor who can give you objective feedback. Ask your angels for guidance. This is not the moment to make the change in your life that you're considering. A better time will come or you'll realize that you wish to choose a different kind of transformation for yourself. So they're saying it's not time to really have any kind of change. Right now it's time to reevaluate so you can go after the change. See, because you can't really 100%, you know, you're going to have that sudden awareness. So you really don't want to jump into anything just yet until we get through the pros and cons, until we get to the reevaluation, until we get balanced and get back the control to become the king of wands, right? That's what it's saying. That's where we need to be, right? So it's saying, I want you to reconsider what's going on within the situation before you make any big sudden moves, which makes total sense. Makes total sense. You wouldn't want to move into a direction, you know, and get yourself into a bigger situation without really reconsidering what's going on within that situation. Lots of situations. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.